Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, I don't know how you are, but, you know, for me, trust and, uh, you know, respect, these are two things that are earned. They are earned through direct experience. Uh, I have here an article that uh, really is about trust. And trust, as I said, is built uh, with consistency, telling the truth over and over again. Remember, for one lie, you have to tell an, on average uh, nine verifiable truth in order to redeem yourself the you know the psychological blockade in the other person that you lied to this are uh, this was a uh, psychological uh, study that i read i don't know three thousand years ago so about nine on average so you lie one time you need nine verifiable truths to kind of balance it in the uh, the victim's uh, brain so what happened here we have joe biden here and he tells us that he trusts Zelensky just like that. And uh, just because Zelensky said it, it's a done deal. Well, uh, not so fast. And we're not talking about, you know, I give you a dollar thing. It's about providing Zelensky with lethal, uh, lethal weapons, which is in this case are the F-16s. So it's like a, a conversation. Hey, are you going to give me 3,000 F-16s? Yeah, man, I will give you 3,000 F-16s. But, you know, promise me something. Say what? Well, you're not going to attack the Russian territory with them. Yeah, man, I'm not going to attack the Russian territory. Shake hands, gentleman understanding, right? <laughs> All right, between two weasels. No. So let's see what's going on here. This article comes from Business Insider. And it's from May 21st, 2023. Biden says Zelensky gave a flat assurance that F-16 fighter jets would not attack Russian territory as drastic policy shift takes play shape. So he gave a flat assurance. Okay. And that's it. That's all he needed. That's all he needed. But hey, I have something else. Do you remember that thing when it was the Soviet Union talking to the Americans, uh, to be more precise, it was, uh, um, what, what was his name, um, not, not Gorbachev, um, I can remember the Prime Minister at that time, a Prime Minister, Foreign Minister, it was a Georgian, I will remember his, uh, Shevardnadze, yeah, Shevardnadze, remember Shevardnadze? Shevardnadze was the foreign minister of um, Soviet Union and together with uh, Mr. Gorbachev had a meeting with uh, James Becker, uh, Baker, the foreign minister, foreign minister, secretary of state of the uh, United States and everybody gave the Russians assurances that no inch to the east NATO expansion. Remember that thing? Have you heard about it? Well, supposedly, and I have here two articles to show you certain certain things and you look deeper into that. I'm not going to say that is, no, but they say, well, you promised, you assured us, like Zelensky assured um, Biden, you assured us that you will not move one inch east with your NATO expansion. Remember? All right. And what happened? The Americans said, well, that was a verbal. It was just a verbal understanding. Do you have any documents? And the Russian says, huh, uh, okay, all right. So, uh, here everything is okay, over there it was not. Things change, things change. I learned that here in this country when I have an understanding with you and let's say tomorrow we meet to have this and you say, I changed my mind. And I say, what happened? Well, this intervened. Well, that's why we have an understanding. Like you make a, an appointment to the dentist and you show up over there and they keep you waiting for an hour. That's the whole purpose of having a you know, schedule an appointment to plan your day and they plan their day. All right, because your life is important as theirs. So let me show you this little article here with um, what I was talking about. This uh, is uh, from National Interest. Now, I took just, you ignore the sites, I just took the information. Newly declassified documents. Gorbachev told NATO wouldn't move past East German border. So, uh, I think somewhere here, down here, right here. 
As the newly declassified documents show, the Russian might have had a point. While it was previously understood that Secretary of State James Becker's assurance to Gorbachev or Gorbachev that NATO would not expand not one inch eastward during the February 9, 1990 meeting was only in the context of German reunification, the new documents show that this was not the case. So it was not only about the German unification. That's one. Well, you can look and read for yourself and look into it. Now I'm going to give you this one. National Security Archive, blah, 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 blah. Again, these are just information so you can go further. I'm not saying this is, uh, you know, what it is and that's true and blah, 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 blah. I think this is Horn, what is Kohl, Helmut Kohl. I think this is what, uh, Bush the first. Helmut Kohl and Heinrich Dietrich Genscher. My bad. Uh, anyway, what happened here? NATO expansion. What Gorbachev heard? The declassified documents show security assurances against NATO expansion to Soviet le leader from Baker, Bush, Genscher, Kohl, Gates, Mitterrand, Thatcher, Heard, Major and Warner. Slavic Studies panel addresses who promised what to whom on NATO expansions. So look over this, whatever this is, and they, you see here, right here, that's a handwriting. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but it's very interesting to, to, uh, to read all these things. All right. On December 12, 2017, U.S. Secretary of State James Becker's famous none, not one each eastward, eastward assurance about NATO expansion in his meeting with Soviet leader Gorbachev on February 9, 1990, was part of a cascade of assurances about Soviet security given by Western leaders to Gorbachev and other Soviet officials throughout the press, the process of German unification in 1990 and on to 1991, according to the classified US, Soviet, German, British, French document posted, posted today by the National Security Archive at George Washington University. Pop up. Go and check this out. And here, this is interesting, this is Shavarnadze. And he writes here, I mean, this is a scanned document, page from uh, Stepanov Maladzev. Oh, that's not uh, Shavarnadze. Oh, yeah, but notice, notes from February 12, 1990, reflecting Baker's assurances to Shevarnadze during the Ottawa Open Skies Conference. And, and I'm quoting, if United Germany stays in NATO, we would take care about non-expansion of its jurisdiction to the East. Okay, so I didn't do this just to um, really bring that up. That's a different story. You can look, look for it and find who said what. My point is, uh, they were told in 2021, Gor uh, Gorbachev, uh, Lavrov, the foreign minister of Russia, was told exactly this by uh, the American counterparts. Well, do you have any document? Any, any agreement signed? Bye-bye, Lavrov. And Lavrov was, huh, our partners. Good job. So when you uh, read this little thing here, all right, where is it? Right here. When you look at this one, I would like to keep that in mind again. Biden, by Biden, yeah, Biden, Biden said Zelensky gave a flat assurance, verbal, that F-16 fighter jets wouldn't attack Russian territory as drastic policy shift takes play, shape. The problem is, I don't think they don't want to use them because they don't want to hurt the Russians. I think they are afraid that their F-16s will get hurt. So they don't want their plane to fall into Russia. I think that's what it is, but that's my assessment. Um, so, what do you think? Verbal assurances. So, we take that flat assurances from Zelensky as a golden, you uh, know what I mean? But the other guys, uh, Baker and all those, do they have any documents? Did we sign anything about it? So, bye bye. Bring uh, something when you find one. <laughs> we fooled you once. <laughs> We're not going to fool you again, it seems. Uh, so here it is, my friends, got insurances. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.